Hi, Mike. This is Mike, this is her dad. Hi, Mike. Hi, Mike. These guys have been with us here at Faith Mountain only about a month, month and a half or so. Um, and uh, they very quickly became ingrained in our church family. And just last Sunday, as they were leaving, Monica mentioned that she wanted to get baptized. She come to a place in her life where she truly understands Jesus and, and has made a decision to have him be Lord of her life. She also sent me a, an email with her story, and she's a little on the shy side, so I promised that I would read that to you on her behalf. My story, as I told my dad by Mona Gestwick, I'm kind of shy and not really good at talking in front of a lot of people, so thanks to my dad for helping me with this. She asked him last Sunday if he would be the one to baptize her. Because I had told her it's, it's okay to have someone baptize you that maybe is one of the most influential people in your faith journey. And what a blessing for a dad that she chose you. <laughs> Sorry. I want to be baptized and give my life to Jesus. I want to do that for a few reasons. He helps me to not give up when things are hard. He comforts me when I'm upset or sad or hurt. And I try to do the same thing for my friends, especially at school. I think that it's important for me to help my friends and feel to feel better and be okay. Because no one should hurt. Jesus doesn't want people to hurt either. He sent an angel to comfort me and keep me safe when I had to live in a hotel back in Michigan. Because that was all we had. I talked to him about being afraid and about other things. And I asked him to help my family and parents. He helped me get through the fifth grade out here. It was hard. I was being picked on and bullied. And I was new here. I want to help out with the smaller kids here at church. I enjoy helping take care of them and want them to know that Jesus will help them out and love them too. Just like he loves me and he helped me. What a brilliant, brilliant story. I want to invite you to get in the tub here. I'm going to get on the other side, let you get on this side. Is there anything you'd like to say? Monica. Monica, I love you. Sorry, guys. I'm all, hey, I guess it takes a real man to be able to cry, right? <laughs> Monica, I love you, and I applaud you and salute you for this decision. I'm not perfect. Pastor Mitch talked about that. But I have your back, and I'll do everything in my power to make this what it's supposed to be for you, okay? So, Miss Monica, because of your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ is your personal Savior, we now baptize you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We invite the worship team to come up. They're going to close us out this morning, I believe. Um, and before you leave, can we just pray over you? Pray with me as I pray for Monica. Father, we come before you this morning and we're grateful for the profession of faith of two young people in our church. Father, I pray especially for Monica and I thank you for what she's done. I thank you for the fact that she's recognized that you have seen her through hard times and that she wants to take the impact you've made in her life and pass that on to others, especially to the little and youngest among us, Lord God. Father, I pray that you would bless her, bless her ministry, and that she would be an influence on many throughout the rest of her life. And the world would be a different place and the kingdom would grow because of what she's